Welcome back to the Junior Mints Podcast. My name is Finn Mintz. Hope you guys are doing okay. I'm doing well. Uh, today, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about, you know, episode three of Star Wars, otherwise known as Revenge of the Sith. All right, so this has to be argu- arguably one of the most memeable movies on the planet. Um, I mean, sure, there are memes everywhere for sure. However, while this movie is memeable, it's also one of the greatest movies of all time. Prove me wrong, please. Um, it's one of those shows that, like... Shows, sorry. It's one of those movies, excuse me, that it's basically my favorite movie. Um, not th- in my opinion, in my opinion, nothing comes close to it. Um, it's a... Pr- one of the one of my main reasons why it's so great is because the shift between you know re- the grand grand army of the republic to the galactic empire is one of the single most greatest moment greatest while and sad moments of cinematic history. Please prove me wrong. This is just my opinion. Let's hear what you have to say. Okay, so like. It's just, the story is awesome. Sure, it came out in 2005, but that's just it. It's one of those things where it's like the dialogue of the movie didn't really, it doesn't, they don't, the dialogue doesn't really matter in this case. All that matters is the twist of execute order 66, you know, it's like, oh crap, like, like this, this movie, like, the moment, you know, where, um... Anakin and Palpatine are like talking in a hallway and Palpatine suddenly goes, use my knowledge, use my knowledge, I beg you. And suddenly Anakin just goes, he like takes out his, takes out his lightsaber and goes, Bzz, and he's like, you're the Sith Lord. And then like, like that movie, sure, you know what, let's talk about the elephant in the room, Order 66, okay, 66, um... Where can you go wrong with it? You, you, as sad as that moment is, you really can't go wrong with it. Because, like, it's so, like, not, I'm not going to say perfect, but, like, it's it's the twist that nobody saw coming. Well, yeah, no, no, nobody. Um, Like, sure, we didn't, we don't learn about inhibitor chips until Clone Wars, which ties in very nicely, by the way. Or Bad Batch, for example. Spoiler alert, by the way. Um, but yeah, no, like, like it, what the moment that really also kind of was just like, oh crap, like was the moment. It's that scene where Obi Wan is telling Commander Cody, you know, to uh, contact your troops and then like tell them to move to the higher level, right? And they're on Utapau at this point, right? And um, Commander Cody was just like, I do believe, uh, it's like, what is it? I think you'll be needing this. And he hands him his light, he hands Obi-Wan his lightsaber, right? And Obi-Wan goes. And then, suddenly we hear, like, a little, a little, a little sound coming from, like, after Obi-Wan leaves the scene, we hear a little, th- we hear, like, a little notification, like, a little sound coming from Commander Cody's pocket. Commander Cody takes out this part, this part, just like, whoa, takes out his, like, th- the communicator, and we see a little holographic image of Palpat- uh, Palpatine. And then Palpatine just goes, Commander Cody, the time has come. And then just, like, execute Order 66. I'm like, what the crap? Like, I don't care how many times I've watched that movie. It still just kind of goes, <laughs> like, that movie, I can probably watch it maybe, like, three times in a week. <laughs> Now, granted, I don't have time to do that right now, but maybe I will later. But okay, let's let's sort of shift gears here and let's hold Revenge of the Sith on a pedestal, even though it belongs there. Just saying, Revenge of the Sith is here. The next best Star Wars movie, in my opinion, in my opinion, hmm, I can't emphasize that enough, is arguably. Return of the Jedi. Just saying. Just saying. Because, you know, that's the other side of the story, quote-unquote. When when uh, Vader sees um, 
his son Luke being electrocuted by the Emperor, and he looks over to the Emperor, and he's just like, well, "Wait a minute!" And then in some of the some of the cinematic releases, he's like, "No!" And he's just like, "No!" and throws him out. That's why it holds. That's why it's right here in second place, is because the redemption arc was so perfectly timed that it's just like, "Wow!" And then finally in third place, but very close third, is Empire Strikes Back. Now. You can't deny, one cannot deny, I don't know, that the reveal of Luke, or I'm sorry, of Vader being Luke's father, you can't deny that's that's one of the best moments of history in that film, right? And that's why it's in this top three. And also it's kind of like, actually, you know, that's just it. Because it's one of those cliffhangers that, you know, Last Jedi tried to replicate but couldn't, sorry. So, top three Star Wars movies. Revenge of the Sith will always be number one. Sorry. Return of the Jedi is number two. And then right behind number two, Empire Strikes Back. So, anyway, back to Revenge of the Sith for a second. The fact that they are they can tell the Order, Order 66 story... From so many perspectives, for example, in Clone Wars, Rebels, and Bad Batch. Wow, dude. Like, that just that just proves that Revenge of the Sith is that much better than the other two films. Now, I'm not saying the other two films are bad. I'm just saying Revenge of the Sith... This is, this is just me, by the way. Hold, Revenge of the Sith is just like, whoa. Like... Natalie Portman's in it, for frick's sake, like, like, man, it's just, Revenge of the, Revenge of the Sith is so perfect for its time, that it's just like, like, I was born in, I was born in a good era for Revenge of the Sith to be made, like, Revenge, mm, Revenge of the Sith came out in like 2005 and I didn't watch it because I was maybe I was 7 when that came out like oh and also the, another awesome moment from that movie is when you know Anakin and Obi-Wan are fighting on Mustafar, and then, like, you know, Anakin gets his limbs cut off, and blah, blah, blah. It's just like, you were the chosen ones! Like, damn, dude. Like, that scene still gets me today. And it, and it's been, like, like 16 years or something since I've seen it. Or since I've watched it originally, initially. Like, wow. Another great moment, too, was when, you know, Mace Windu... Fisto and then a couple of other Jedi went to arrest Palpatine, and Palpatine, Palpatine was just like, "Hold my beer!" It takes out his like, and just does like the re, and then just slice it. Wow, that's just like, I don't know. That movie, is just, like, you can't forget Ewan McGregor too. Like, I know, I know, I'm just rambling about it, but. Another great scene to kind of wrap up here is the scene where Darth Vader Vader just slaughters the separatist leaders. Oh my god. Now, I'm not one for I'm not one for like death and crap. But that scene though where Anakin was just like closing the like closing the entrances to the separatist uh base thing and then just looking at Viceroy, just like, I'm going to freaking kill you. And then just... Sl- <laughs> that that scene was just so... It was dark, but like... It wasn't too dark, where I'm just like... But it was... <sighs> I can't emphasize how great that that movie is. Uh, yep, well... That was my rant of how great... Ep- uh, Revenge of the Sith was. Is. Still is. It always will be. Thank you guys very much for watching and listening to the Junior Mints Podcast. I have been your host, Finn Mintz. Please support me and my podcast by dropping a like on this video. Uh, go check out the other episodes. They're out there. 
uh, please subscribe to my channel if you if you would like. Please do it. Um, and yeah, thank you guys very much for watching and listening. We'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thank you.